I don't know the next time I'm gonna see you. What is up, everybody? With it being my birthday, um, celebrating 24 years of age, I wanted to do something like this to expand on me, you know, being a new college dropout and going and pursuing my passions in, in life and going and doing what I want to do. I want to do this more on YouTube and put out value so that I can hopefully help you and anybody watching this, you know, give them some motivation to go and pursue what it is that you want to do in life or help you through a hard time or help you in any aspect of your health. Really just help people in any way. That's what I want to do and, and give to the world. I want to, you know, put it out there that it's okay to go and pursue your passion in life and go at it full force because that's where you find true happiness. Um, so I just wanted to put this video together to explain more about you know, me dropping out of what a typical person would do and go and get their their master's degree in order to um, further their career. Um, but it wasn't for me. So obviously I went to Boston University in order to pursue further education, to go and get my master's degree in nutrition. I thought that was the best course of action for me after taking a year off to work as a strength and conditioning coach um, at a training facility that, you know, when I realized during that time was working for somebody else was not for me. So I thought the next step was go and get my master's degree in nutrition and then go and, you know, become a clinical nutritionist and go down that path, have to do tons of hours of, um, internships and clinical work and all, all that. I thought that was the path that I wanted to go down. Um, so yeah, I went to Boston University for two weeks and I went through class and I realized that it was not for me. I, you know, wasn't learning much. I was in these classes, especially right now with class, like you're in a Zoom class with 300 other people and there's a teacher lecturing you for an hour and 50 minutes and they're blowing through a PowerPoint slide but you have no clue what the fuck they are talking about. So I wasn't learning anything. Um, and I was actually sitting right here in a Zoom class and I was in uh, clinical nu nutrition, I believe it was. And the teacher was some PhD guy that was like 28 years old. Um, I mean, good for him and what he's doing. He was smart as hell, but he was talking about gene coding in rats. And I was listening to it for about a half an hour, almost falling asleep. And I just got to the point where we broke off in a class and no one knew what the guy was talking about. So I shut my laptop and I called my mom and I said, this is not for me. This is not what I want to be doing. So I would, you know, the next day I withdrew from Boston University. My parents, you know, they, they kind of agreed with me and, you know, fully support me and what I want to do. So that was good to hear um, that they, you know, believe in me, but I, ultimately I believe in myself and what I want to do. Um, so yeah, I, I withdrew, um, the, you know, my advisors were surprised and stuff, but it, you know, this is what I want to do. You can see the smile on my face now. This is, this is what I want to be doing with my life. So yeah. And now from, from that point on, I just said, I'm going to fully commit to my business, which is more life. Um, and the reason for that is because I want to help other people pursue the life that they want to live. Um, you know, there's so much out there in the health and fitness industry um, with helping people fat loss and gain muscle and, and all that. And that's, that's awesome. But I think we got to look at it in a different way. And 
with pursuing your passion and something that makes you ha genuinely happy every single day, that is, is the start. That's what you have to focus on. We live in a world where you're taught, all right, go to school, learn these subjects, go to high school, same thing, learn these subjects. You have to do proficient in those in order to get into a good college, then go to college and college is basically just four years of party your ass off. It's like, it's, it's summer camp with no counselors. That's basically what it is. And, um, so, and, but you know, you get stressed out about schoolwork and you taught these subjects and you have to do good to, in order to get a good GPA, then you're supposed to go into the workforce or go get, um, your master's degree. And then you have to do more certifications after that. Um, like with my four year degree, I got, it was four years of exercise science. And then in order to get my strength and conditioning certification, I then had to go and study more and pay more money to be in debt more and then go and get my master's to be in debt more. And by the time you're out, you're in thousands of dollars in debt. And then you have to go get a job that doesn't pay you enough to pay off the debt. So I don't know about you, but that doesn't make any sense to me. And there's obviously something wrong with the system. So I finally got to a point and I think other people get to the point where they're like, this doesn't make any sense. The re everything in your life, you have to look at the return of investment. So going to college and being in a ton of amount of debt, there's no return of investment in that anymore. Like you, you're, you're paying more than what you get out of it. The, the value's not there. I wouldn't sell something to someone where the value wasn't there. And that is what college is now doing. I, I know from experience that I've learned so much more from researching and studying on my own, listening to podcasts and listening to books um, on an everyday basis. I've learned so much more than I ever did in four years of college. So I think that's the new wave of, you know, study from who you want to be or who you want to emulate or, you know, study from people that are actually successful in their lives. Like, why do we go to class to learn from a nutrition teacher in my, in my like perspective, go to class to learn from a nutrition teacher who all he knows is how to teach a class and he's not even healthy. So how does that make sense? Or, you know, a business degree, like, is that, does that person have a successful business? No, they just know how to teach the things that they've been taught in a class. So then why should you be learning from them in order to have a successful business? Like that doesn't make sense. Or you could, you know, read a book from Elon Musk or Warren Buffett or whoever you, you know, you, you know, love who has a successful business and learn from them and what they did in order to succeed. And I promise you, you'll be way better off than going to a class that you pay $5,000 for. Um, so that's just kind of my thoughts on all of that. Um, and in life, you know, it's okay to drop everything and take that risk and go and pursue what you want to do. I know that right now I'm taking a risk in becoming like a full-time entrepreneur and this is all I'm going to do. And yeah, that's a, that's a huge risk, but nothing amazing in life happens without taking great risks. Um, this thing's kind of cool how it changes colors. Um, but in order to get where you want in life, you have to take those, those risks. It, it does come like at a huge expense. Yes. But by taking that step and going forward and, you know, going over that hurdle, you're, you will get to where you want to be in life. Surround yourself with good people. Your environment means everything. Um, if people bring you down, like cut them out. If, people lift you up and push you to where you want to be, then that's going to allow you to get where you want to be. It's like if you're on a boat driving a ship um, and someone's on the anchor pulling you down, 
like get them off or allow them to come aboard. It's kind of cheesy, but you get what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, like surround your environment plays a huge role in what you are able to achieve. So, you know, put the environment around you that's good. Have people that support you and push you to go further. Um, all of these things are possible when you just say, you know, I'm going to stray from what is normal and what I've been taught and just go for what I want in life. We all have the ability to make an impact on the world and create change in the world. That's what I want to go do. And I want to make that like a movement, like a movement of people who are going and doing this, you know, pursuing their passions, pursuing their purpose. That's what I want to help people do. Um, and that's why I'm going and pursuing more life fully. Like, I don't want it to just be a wellness brand, a health brand. Um, like, there's too much of that out there. And I, I don't think people are doing it the right way. I think by helping you know, others find their passion and go towards that on an everyday basis. And then you tie in health with all of it. So... Your health is all aspects of your life. You know, what, the way you wake up, the way you go to bed, what you do on an everyday basis, how productive you are, how, I mean, the foods you put into your body, you know, doing movement and that type of stuff to really like feed your body and feed your brain so that you can be the most productive person. Like all of that ties in with itself. And I, I don't think people think about their health in that way. And that's why I try to preach with people that I work with like right now is it's all aspects of your life. And we just have to focus on those certain things and not everything at once, but you know, work on a part of you every single day to get to where you want to be in life. We can all do this. We all are special. We all can make an impact. We all can help the world become a better place. I mean, look around us. There's, you know, there's like, we're in a pandemic and that pandemic is caused because we're unhealthy. We like are stressed every day, anxiety every day. And I'm not saying that I don't deal with those things. Like I 100% I do. Today, like stressed as fuck because I, I just have so much that I want to give to the world and it's doing all those things. But and it's dealing with that and learning how to deal with those things on an everyday basis that will, uh, because if anybody says, you know, I'm never stressed, I'm never anxious, like, not true. It, it, the world we live in, it, it causes those things. But if we're all living for a purpose, I think we'll all live in a much happier world. And then if, if, if we lived in a world where everybody was woke up every day and pursued what they love you know how much better our world would be not you know people going and waking up going to a nine to five and and hating their life hating their job um so i think those are all things to think about and you know that this is kind of why i i'm challenging everybody to kind of join this movement and do this it's it's not i'm like yeah i have the brand of more life that i'm 100% committing to but I'm not making a business to you know make money and, and while that is all well and good and, and important and knowing how to make money in the world that we live in is super important I want to do this for to make the world just a better place like that is why I'm doing this that that is my purpose in life is to help others achieve their their best life in the world and I know that I can do that, and I know that you are, whoever is watching this, hopefully is a good amount of people, um, you are special, and you can make an impact on the world, and I'm here for you, the people that support you are here for you, you can do this, we can do this together, so on my 24th birthday, as a gift to me, and to yourself, I just ask you that you know, you, you look at things in a different way and, and what's been taught to you. And once you kind of change your perspective on all this and how the world works and what is achievable for you, your life will definitely change.
and you know I'm I'm gonna be here to help you every step of the way so much love to you this is kind of my first YouTube vlog so hope you like it so if we don't talk let's believe that I still got to I wanna see you walk I wanna see you get your dog drink